Hi everyone, in this video, we'll talk about that how we can use Bob Suite repeater tab in order to send multiple HTTP requests. So you can see over here that this repeater tab gives us a flexibility to send multiple requests. So what we can do, we can actually send multiple requests by different parameters, by different methods, and then we can check out server response from here. So you can see over here that this is how repeater tab looks like. Here you can see our request. So here will be our request. And whenever we click on go here, we can see a server response. So that's why by using Bob Suite repeater tab, we can send multiple requests and it becomes very, very handy when we are doing method tempering or parameter tempering, or even we can just doing API fuzzing. So you can see over here that server response can be monitored. Now let's use this repeater tab in order to see that what kind of response we got from the server. Now let's use Bob Suite repeater tab in order to send multiple HTTP requests and check out server response. So you can see over here that right now I'm using Bob Suite free edition and here is our OS broken web application. So the IP address of OS broken web application is 192.168.0.160. So now let me open this IP address in Firefox and before we do so let's configure its proxy settings. Manual proxy configuration and now let me just open that IP address and let's just go back to the Bob suite and you can see over here our get request and this is for host this let me forward this request now let's open this OS mutually vulnerable web application So as I told you earlier that this repeater tab in Bob Suite is actually used to send multiple requests or let's say that if you just want to send one request multiple times by changing its like HTTP method by changing it some parameters then this repeater tab may be useful for us. Now let's see how we can do so. So first of all we'll find out some vulnerability which we can check out. Let's say security misconfiguration is here. Uh, this one method tempering uh, let's say this one so you can see over here that right now our HTTP request looks like it's a get request and it's of mutually day index.php and here is that page so let's just go there okay so you can see over here here is one a name and a password we have to enter these two credentials so let's say name will be demo and the password will be demo123 and let me click on view and you can see over here that this is the actual request which is being sent and if we check out its parameters you can see over here the parameters which are being sent by this request so you can see over here a username a password and some few parameters in cookie now let's say we want to send this request multiple times and we want to check out server response of each request so what we have to do just right click over here and here is one option called as send to repeater so once we send this request to the repeater you can see over here that repeater tab starts blinking and here you can see the entire request so let's say you just want to send this request so you have to click on go and you can see over here that on the right hand side we got the server response so you can see over here the raw these are the headers you can see the headers over here that HTTP to 200 ok you can see date server and you can see its hex value HTML and even you can click on render so that we can actually see a HTML page so this is how we can send multiple requests so let's say let's remove this and just write here delete and now let's send this request back and this time you will see a same response okay uh, let's say let's go back and let me find out something more interesting improper error handling okay let's say login so let me just write here demo click on login and you can see over here the same request that let me send this to the repeater and the thing to be noticed is that you can send as many requests to the this repeater tab so right now you can see over here that this is our second request so this was our previous one 
so let me send this post parameter okay nothing seems to be happen and uh, let's try to add some SQL injection payload okay so you can see over here error message and if I just scroll down you can see over here that we got a MySQL error which means it's a SQL injection vulnerable so that's why by using this repeater tab it's, 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 it's just become very very handy that we can actually do method tampering means we can send this request by using different HTTP methods and even we can do this parameter fuzzing with the help of sending different different parameters by different different values in it let's say if I just write here delete and if I click on go you can see over here a same thing but no error the reason behind that is that this request delete is not supported by this application so let's say post and you can see that same error back so this is how we can use repeater tab so let me just forward this request and let's try to play with something more interesting let's say rest api so sql injection and user account management let me forward this request okay so you can see over here get all users uh, let me okay so here is that request so let's just forward this to the repeater so that we can send multiple times first of all we will just click on go to check out this valid valid response so you can see over here that by sending out this request we can actually see a username admin username adrin you can see over here username Bobby so with the help of this we can actually now see that this is actually giving us a list of all users so what else we can do first of all we'll check out its parameters so the parameter which is being sent is this asterisk so let's do one thing let's just go back and let's specify only a particular username let's say admin so you can see over here that we got our result so username is admin and my signature is this means it, it's something a value for the admin so now what else we can do let's just remove this admin let's add double quote and you can see over here that we got an exception I think it's a MySQL handler expression yeah it's that so so this is how we can actually use repeater tab in order to send multiple requests and check out such server response so in this video we saw that what is repeater tab in Bob Suite and how we can use that. So thanks for watching this video.